What's going on everyone? Jake here. So, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, I've been super busy the last few days and my phone hasn't been working. Um, so, I'm going to show you a couple cars I just picked up. Um, one I picked up last night and the other one I picked up off the side of the highway a couple days ago. So, I guess we'll start with this one. This is a 91 Saab 9000S. And, uh, as you can see, it's in pretty poor shape. Um, the guy I got this from um, was in a previous accident. He got somebody hit him and spun him around. So that's what that was from. And then he had somebody else busted out his tail light. And then uh, a couple days ago, which is the one that ended this car, was he rear-ended a lady on the highway. He was in stop-and-go traffic and a lady in front of him slammed on the brakes. He didn't have enough time to react and that was that. So the deal we made was, uh, you know, the car was on the side of the highway, he had to pick it up. So uh, the deal we made was I went and picked the car up for him, he gave me the title and keys and I'm gonna try and sell it, get as much as I can out of it and uh, I'm gonna keep some of it and and I'm going to give some to him, try and help him out, uh, since he's going to need to buy a new vehicle. Um, it's got almost brand new tires on it. Real nice. Um, see, I had to pry the hood open. It does open. There's the motor. This car still runs and drives. I, uh, I drove it off the trailer. I winched it on the trailer because they had mentioned that uh, it was on fire when they'd shut the car off, so I was like, well, if it was on fire, I don't want to start it and run it, but, uh, you know, I didn't want to push it around the yard to move it either, so I've just started it and moved it a couple spots, but uh, the oil cooler is, or what I believe is the oil cooler is, yeah, crunched, so there's a hole in it, and it was spraying oil every time I started, but whatever, and then, uh, of course, the whole motor got pushed back, it broke a... Uh, the motor mount, there's half of it got thrown up here into the AC pump. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's kind of too bad. Just, you know, it's a 90, the, being the car that it is, it's, it's going to be impossible to find parts for it. Which is disappointing because it would be fixable. Um, but yeah, the interior is pretty, it's pretty trashed. Um, it's got a moonroof. It is a hatchback. And this whole the whole thing opens up. Um, so I guess uh, oh, and the door. It's got a little trick. You got to push in on the bottom to open it. And all the doors are hitting the fenders. None of them want to open all the way. <clears throat> it's got 168,000 miles, which for a '91 that ain't bad. That's not bad at all. These are the keys for it. Kind of strange looking. Uh, okay, one of them's a door key. So it comes on. The wipers are stuck on. They say it's all. She's a goner, but yeah, she still starts right up. Oh, there she was. It won't start now. Oh. I moved the shifter. Duh. There she goes. She still runs. She's not happy about it, but she does. that okay on to something more exciting this one I picked up last night I drug it out of a garage oh Edgar's here covered in dirt what you been rolling around in you ain't going in the house like that anyways uh, pulled this one out of a garage a buddy of mine uh, made a post on Facebook uh, like last week and uh, said he had a car he just wanted to get rid of 
Uh, him and his ma are moving out of their house, so I'm just trying to get stuff cleaned up. This is a 2004 BMW 325i XI, XL, I don't know. I'm not a BMW guy. That is a 5-speed stick. If I can get the door open. 5-speed stick. I don't know how many miles are on it. He said it had over 300,000 miles on it. I can't tell because uh, the battery's dead. It's a, BMW has these special batteries. you got to buy a BMW brand battery or else uh, the car won't start. No, well, it's not a bad car. Of course, the uh, you know, driver's seat's got a rip, but I mean, it's a pretty nice, decent car. Um, the reason he got rid of it is because the uh, head gasket went. He, uh, he started doing the head gasket. All the headlights and engine parts are in the trunk. He uh, started doing the head gasket, and he just decided he didn't want to do it. So he, he just quit and uh, passed it on to me. Um, say so he bought a, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's an 08, it's a, it's a Mazda RX-8, and it's got a rotary in it, it's a pretty cool car, so he's got that now, and a, I think a Ford Focus, so, he doesn't care about this thing, so, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, I'm not gonna bother trying to fix it, I'm just gonna try and sell it for parts, or it'll just go to the scrapyard, so I've got nothing into it, so. Won't hurt my feelings any if it gets scrapped. So, yep, so that's that one. So there you go, two free cars. Um, I'd say they're probably just gonna both end up going to the scrap, I don't know. Hopefully the BMW I can sell somebody that can use it for parts or maybe wants to fix it and drive it. I, who knows, the Saab on the other hand, it, I'm afraid it's a goner. Um, but anyways, yeah, so smash that like button and uh, maybe, maybe if you're interested in one of these vehicles or maybe need some parts off of one of them, uh, leave me a comment or uh, send me a message. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.